Here with the left, here with the right, I'm a Muhammadi all night. Yeah, here with the left, here with the right, I'm a Muhammadi alive. Gonna fuck like a butterfly, gonna sting like a bee. You don't like how I laugh? <laughs> you are dead. <laughs> Yo, guys, it's Eddie Mikey back again. I'm finally with the Joker review. And Dave Chappelle sticks and stones and i will tell you why it works so well so personally when i first saw the film um one thing i liked about it was how it paid homage to uh the netflix special of Dave Chappelle sticks and stones because i felt like the two were mirrored beautifully and how each of them came i think it was in october roughly the same month and um I was like, I'm not gonna lie, watching this, it, it makes me feel like they're both, they both came out at the same time to kind of talk about the same message and same opinion. Nonetheless, the two Jokers, this is the illustration I'm doing right now. Uh, now, in regards to the film of the Joker, on oh my days, on oh my days, are you ready? On oh my days, okay, take it. Yeah. <laughs> It was so crazy that I'm making a bit out of it and I'm not gonna sleep. Nah, I'm not on my bed, I'm literally walking my crawl in the door and I'm asleep. It is so steep on the stairs. And that's how he did it. Up and down the stairs. And the Joker is a lady. Literally, the film is intense. Contrasted in... Ah, what's the word I'm looking for? It has this very... It's very dark. It is very... It's one of the it's one of those films where you feel like when you watch it the first time, you, you can only watch it the second time after you've um, digested the message that's being said, because uh, it was really one of it was it was deep, intense to the point like every conflict that happened, I wanted it to end, and because of that, I didn't know how to feel. Um, how I don't know how best to describe it because, hey, let's just give praise to Joaquin Phoenix. His performance was beautiful. He was amazing, and he really embodied not only the perspective of who the Joker is or could be, but also at the same time he allowed the character to evolve to a point that it did, it talked about a very serious issue, which was basically mental health in my opinion that's why i felt like what the movie was really going towards to and besides the whole conflict about what was said on social media about like i was gonna start a massive war no the only war it started was just the war of the mind of like yo there are people who are bad but how does it start and what's the environment like but joaquin phoenix really like enveloped embodied and was like symbioted by i believe his his career as an as an actor plus also his his childhood because if you look into his in his story and his upbringing it's been it's quite sad i'm not gonna lie um and he embodied the joke in a way that wasn't the stereotypical joke of him like um just going around having a crime family with Harley Quinn and everything but funny enough uh, Domino is in this and I thought of Harley Quinn which is as uh, he beats and I was like is that Harley Quinn is she gonna be Harley Quinn I don't know but c'est la vie. um so his performance was very very intense as well and I don't know why but I felt like he resonated with the character so much that even the performance was put to an extra level because the budget was so low for this but they brought it to a level that i feel like every movie now wants to go into and actually try out and i'm very happy for that honestly um the other thing that i really liked about this was how they guide did you into the joker's mind of is this happening is this a facade are you really there? Did that really happen? Like there's certain scenes, like it involves um his friend and a and a, and a very little friend, and I'm just like, that is too beautiful to happen, but it's also too dark. That is also too dark, and I'm just, mm -mm, I, I, I'm still. It's one of those films that you've gotta watch again, but with a fresh mind, because it took me. 
I was like, now I'm not gonna do a review on this for some time. I need to digest what they're saying, what they're trying to tell me. Subliminally, on my daisy. Um, <laughs> I'm loving this beat. This beat is fire, boy. Um, there's not really any bad, honestly. Uh, no bad at all. Actually, no bad at all. I can just love. I'm just, I'm just gonna just watch this happily. And now, in reference to sticks and stones, uh, sticks and stones. I'm not gonna lie. By far, one of Dave Chappelle's best um, comedy sketches ever. And I've watched them when he was young, and now this, and I'm like, I got chills from the truth he spoke. And I think that's why I also like the joke because he spoke about the truth that not everybody is the same. And it all starts with them and it starts with the mind. But nonetheless, it was lit. But nonetheless, it was great. Hit the sticks and the stones. You are not gonna get the wrongs. Hit the sticks and the stones. You shoot me with all your tongues. I don't need to have lead, but I use it all instead. With this whole drawing, without you even knowing, yeah. <laughs> okay, I need to chill, but my, the joke film is Six of Stones, by far one of the best films, specials, cinematography I've seen in 2019, and I'm definitely buying the DVD. Let me know what you think um, down below. Uh, oh, did you like the film? Or what did you think about it? And what did you think about Six of Stones? And what did you think about the drawing as well? Uh, I would like to get your perspective on it, but as always, Keep on doing your best and forget about the rest because guess what? You're a joker. We are all the jokers, yeah. We are the jokers. You are all the jokers, yeah. I said you are a joker. Even a you, even your dog, even your cat, even your parrot. I don't know what you're with or where you at, yeah. <laughs> and I'll catch you on the next vid. Skadoosh.